I'm Phil Garnett and this is where we live in Hammondby. I've been in this area for 40 years now, working in, in Filey as a GP. I've wanted to build a green oak frame house for about, well it must be more than 20 years. I came across Andrew who then, after quite a long discussion, he introduced the idea of a passive house. I'd not really come across the concept of passive house until then, um, but the thought of it was really attractive. The idea that I could build something that was ecologically sound and also that, uh, you know, when I retire and on a fixed income, then, you know, the running costs are pretty minimal. My name's Andrew Yates, I'm Director of Eco Architects, and I've worked on uh, a lot of eco buildings over the years, but the last three years I've worked on about 50 passive houses. So I think the marriage of super insulated um, shell that provides the air tightness, the insulation, the wind tightness, uh, and the wrap around the green oak frame, which gives the quality and character of the interior space, I think is a really good way for passive house to develop in the future that combines the qualities of two disciplines. Oak framing is a traditional craft and we still see it very much as that through our training programme of young apprentices teaching them all the handcraft of building an oak frame. Linked to that though, our continuing investment in technology and machinery has enabled us to develop a panel system that is a breathing wall and roof system. Linking the two together, the oak frame and our panel system, has enabled us to achieve the first fully certified oak framed passive house in the UK. I didn't realise at the time um, how unique this build was in the fact that I just assumed that we could do a green oak frame and, and achieve a passive house standard. What I didn't appreciate is it hadn't been done before in the UK. When you get into the passive world, um, the architecture and the design of the house is critical. So where you can sort of design what you want on the majority of the plots out there. If you want a passive orientation key to it, um, how the oak frame sits inside it is a, is a massive part of it. So we, we spent probably a good few months just going through the design and making sure it works with the passive regulations really. The oak frame generally sits into every corner of the building, or what we class as a post and beam frame, and the encapsulation then wraps the frame uh, like a tea cosy basically to keep that warmth for you. We try and build the panels as big as we possibly can to avoid the joins of panel to panel, but most of the joins tend to be behind an oak post. Which subsequently we, we redesigned our, our system, making corners, making sure that we'll be able to get to all of those joints. It was quite interesting because the day we actually did the, the air tightness test, the guy set up all his kit with a, they put a big they take out one of the windows and put a massive fan in, in the space and then they try and suck out all the air and they measure the resistance to the air coming in created by the vacuum. And uh, the first time we did it, it was way out and we thought, what on earth has gone wrong? And eventually we realised someone had left a window open so we weren't going to achieve an air tightness test with the window open. So eventually, when they ran it the second time, we got a fantastic result and way above what we could have hoped for really. So one of the main differences in this house being a passive house is the flat ceilings. In a traditional oak frame house you'd have true vaulted ceilings. Um, the reason we've gone with a flat ceiling here is because the, the house to the right hand side of us here uh, shades us in the winter. So the sun is much lower in the winter, much higher in the summer. So subsequently we had to make it much smaller in volume to keep it hot in the winter, keeping that nice ambient temperature all year round. The temperature is constant. Because of the insulation and the air tightness, it's very, very quiet to live in this house. And also because of the mechanical heat recovery system, which filters the air continuously, 24 hours a day, you get very pure air and it just is a very pleasant environment to live in. Our gas bill, I worked it out for the year, considering that we use gas for the heating, all the hot water and cooking. Our gas bill for the, for the last 12 months was £310, which isn't bad. The techniques that we developed within our design, we can use going forward to future projects where passive house certification is desired.